Hello. In this video, we're going to learn about Dashboard. Dashboard is a program that's built into Mac OS X Snow Leopard that gives you quick access to information that you use often. Just like the dashboard in your car lets you quickly glance down and check your speed or your gas so that you can concentrate on driving, so also the program dashboard on your computer can be brought up quickly, show you helpful information, and then disappear quickly, letting you stay on task. Dashboard can be activated in a few different ways. One of the most obvious ways to activate dashboard is to click on its icon on the dock, this small black dial. And dashboard will pop up on top of any other windows or programs which you can still see in the background, just like I can still see my desktop picture back here. Just like the dashboard in your car is composed of a collection of different dials, dashboard on your computer is composed of all these small windows, and each of these windows is called a widget. To make dashboard go away and to get back to your task at hand, you can either click on the dashboard icon again on your dock, or click anywhere in the background behind any of these widgets. You can also click the F4 key on your keyboard to activate or hide dashboard. Or you can create hot corners in System Preferences, Expose, and Spaces, like this. Now my top left corner is a hot corner for dashboard, so I just move my mouse into the top left corner, and there comes dashboard. And I can move it into that corner again to make it go away. Now, of course, you're also going to want to customize your dashboard so that it doesn't just have these four default widgets on it, but you want it to show you relevant information. So to add or remove widgets, click on this plus icon in the lower left corner of your screen when dashboard is open. When you do so, two things will happen. Firstly, you will see your entire assortment of widgets along the bottom row, and secondly, each widget that's already appeared gets a white X in the top left corner of the widget. To add a widget, you can browse through them down at the bottom, click on a widget you want, and it will add to your dashboard. You can click and drag to move around. You could also click and drag it straight off the row at the bottom and place it exactly where you want it. To remove a widget, just click the X button in the top left corner. Also. If you're just viewing dashboard and you haven't yet clicked the plus button in the bottom left corner and the X's don't appear just yet, but you just want to delete a single widget, simply hold down the option key on your keyboard, move your mouse over the relevant widget, and the X button will appear. Click the X and it goes away. Now some widgets will have some kind of customization option, like changing the location for the weather widget, for example. To access any more options for a particular widget, move your mouse over the widget, and a little white eye will appear somewhere in one of the corners of the widget. Click on the white eye and change whatever you would like. And there, you've customized your widget. Every, almost every widget has a little white eye here, so move it over each of your widgets and make any changes that you want. Finally, you getting tired of your widgets yet? Have no fear. Apple gives you access to thousands of widgets, all of which are free. To access them, click on the plus button in the bottom left corner, click Manage Widgets, and then click More Widgets. On this website, you can browse through them by category or by staff picks down at the bottom. Feel free to download whichever ones you would like. The computer will automatically install them and offer you the option to keep or delete your new widget. It'll also clean up after itself. For example, miss your solitaire game? Just click on Widgets and browse through until you find a good solitaire game. Click download and it will install on your computer. Some suggestions. Go to the top right corner and click search. If you're a nerd and you want to know exactly what your computer is doing at all times, type in iStat Pro.
There will be a dashboard widget that shows up that you can download that will give you all of the information you could ever hope to have for your computer. Another one might be Knotes. This is a widget that will uh, help with uh, sticky notes. It adds a little more functionality than just the default um, uh, sticky widget. Lastly, if you'd like to make a widget from any web page that you visit often, such as a blog or a news site, just open Safari, browse to the website that you would like to add to Dashboard, go up to File, say Open in Dashboard, and then move your mouse around and choose the part that you would like to add in Dashboard. So I'm going to click here. You can also grab these handles on the sides and choose exactly what you want to include. When you've got the part you like, click Add. It will then be dropped right into your dashboard alongside your other widgets. So now, every morning when you wake up, you can click on Dashboard. You can check the weather for the day so you know what to wear. You can show your calendar so that you know what you're doing for the day. And you can check your news headlines or the surf report or whatever you'd like. Use Dashboard as your personal secretary to gather all the information you need in one place at a moment's glance.